Hey everybody, welcome to the Gator Show. I'm Gator. The video you're about to watch is about a repair that I had to make because I put a dent in the body of the Telliot. I think it'll be helpful to many viewers, so I hope you enjoy it. But before we get to that part of the video, I just wanted to say how wonderful the year 2022 was for me down here in the shop. I was able to build 11 instruments and also some other projects that for friends and family that was a lot of fun, helped build up some of my woodworking skills. But I am so excited about the year 2023. Before we move on to that, I'd just like to say, along with Sylvia here from Guitars by Gator down in the shop, Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the Gator Show, and I'm Gator. It's a Saturday morning. It's 18 degrees outside here in Kentucky, and it is a brisk and cold 18 degrees. So it's a good time to be down here in the shop. Now, yesterday, I was uh, moving along, working on the Telliot. And while I was trying to uh, uh, put on my wipe on poly, I had used my four aught steel wool and smoothed her down and was getting ready. And I was going to clean all that off when I took my can and I went boom. And I put a big chunk right in the top of my guitar. Now, uh, I tried to take it down with steel wool and that didn't quite do it. So today I'm going to use uh, 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 an old trick and I'm going to try and steam it out. It does not look like that I've broken the fibers in the top of the wood. So I think by throwing a little water on there using an iron, all right, that uh, I'm going to be able to hopefully steam this out so I don't have to either sand it all the way down or try and use some filler. Because I definitely don't want to use any filler and I really don't want to have to sand all the way back down because then I'm almost starting from zero. So, let's get to it. So the first thing you need, you need iron and you need to set it on high cotton. Now I got a little t-shirt here and I got some water. I'm going to put a little bit of water in there. Let that soak for a couple of minutes. And I've got this shirt and I'm going to get it a little bit damp and then we're going to lay it over the top and put the iron on it and see what happens. All right, here we go. I'm going to try and lay this flat. I'm going to keep moving it around because I don't want to burn anything. Not quite there yet, but it is moving it. It's getting close. I can't really feel it anymore, but I can still see it. So I may have to still take some of the stain out.
All right. It worked perfectly. I was able to raise the grain back up uh, and be able to use just a little bit of 4 aught steel wool. And now, as you can see, you can't even see it. It's completely gone. There's no more marks. It came out great. Uh, so now I'm going to let this sit for a while, let the wood recuperate, and then I'm going to get back to staining, and that way I really didn't lose any time. I was on coat number three when I was getting ready to do this, and so uh, now I can get back to that after I let it set. But that's an easy way to uh, attempt to fix something when you mark it.